welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got something exciting. I've got a Shein haul. Is that how you say it? Shein or Sheen? But I've got loads of items I'm going to try on and I'm going to review them for you. So in this haul I got a couple of dresses, I got a couple of tops and I got some pyjamas as well because if you know me already you know that I'm obsessed with pyjamas and loungewear. I love it. If I could wear pyjamas or loungewear for the rest of my life like to work and everything I 100% would. I have heard that the sizing can be really strange so I went by my measurements apart from one item where I wanted to oversize in. I'll show you that in a bit. I have ordered from them before but that was when I was skinnier and clothes are easier to buy when you're skinny when you're plus size. It's harder to find things that fit you properly. So without further ado I'm gonna crack on and open these bad boys. <laughs> well this first top that I got was only £10.49 which is an absolute bargain if it fits right and it is so cute. So it's sort of like this peplum shape, peplum even shape, with like a bubbled sleeve and I love a bubbled sleeve as you can see right now. So I'm excited to try this on and see if it fits nicely. I will say that the material feels quite thin but I'm not going to complain for a £10 piece of clothing um, if it's a little thin. It looks really cute. And that top is also in a 2X which is a size 20 on the website. Now this one I'm not too sure about. I love the colour and I love the style of the print but I don't like how it sits on my bust area. So usually with these peplum tops, they'll come right underneath, but this one is a little bit too tight and so it sort of goes out like that and makes me look a bit bigger than what I am, which is fine. I'm not saying that, <laughs> I'm not saying that I should look smaller, but at the same time, I think you should sometimes wear clothes that suit your body correctly. I will also say that the material is even thinner than what I thought. It feels really flimsy. It looks like it'll need an iron a lot more than I thought. I'm definitely going to keep this um, because it'll be perfect for like just going for a walk or lounging around the house. I just don't think I'll wear it to any sort of like function. So this top was eleven ninety nine, and this is another peplum top. You'll see a good theme here. I do love a good peplum. But I love this shape in this. I don't know if you can see that properly you will when I uh, try it on and it's also got a bubble sleeve which I love as I've just said and the material on this one is so much better than the last it's a lot thicker it feels more expensive and one thing that I've noticed and love is that it's pinned at the cleavage by here so it's not going to pop open and expose my uh, my ladies to the world. So I'm excited to try this one on. This one I absolutely love. It brings me in in the waist perfectly. It gives me just the right amount of cleavage and it's also clipped in by there so I don't need to buy a safety pin. The sleeves are perfect because they bubble out and make your arms look longer. I'm in love with this top and also I could wear it just casual or I could add some heels to some jeans and wear this out. I'm in love. My next item is a dress. It's a navy sort of skater style dress. It's a lot darker in the photo on the website than it is in real life. It's really creased so it will also need a really good steam and I, I will say I can see right through it so I'm not sure whether this is going to work. It also looks quite small for me but we'll see. I might try it on and change my mind. I might love it. Um, one good thing is it's got adjustable straps but they're so flimsy. I mean girls with bigger boobs I think we're going to find it quite hard to fit them into here and not rip this apart. <laughs> Never thought that I'd say this but I'm really loving this piece. I love the spaghetti straps and I've never had the confidence to pull that off so it makes me feel really good. I will say that I think I'll need to lose another like half a stone, maybe a stone until I wear it just because it's a bit tight around this area. But it's cute, it's just above the knee so the perfect length, I nearly fell there. So the perfect length, not too long, not too short and I'll definitely be wearing this. I will say though that this area here is just a little bit too big and I never thought I'd say that. But it's just a little too big and it's as tight as it can get with the spaghetti straps so I'm not sure though I might be able to like bring that in and make it perfect. Next up I've got one of the most expensive buys that I got off the website it was $18.99 and the material is thick it's good material but it doesn't look like it did on the website it just feels like it looks a bit grannyish for me 
Is that a nice word? I don't know if that's a horrible word to use, but it just, it looks like it might drown me. When I try it on, I might change my mind. We'll see. Um, This is also in a 2X. They're actually all in a 2X size 20, apart from one item. This was one of the most expensive pieces and I hate it so much. I hate the feeling of the material now it's on my body and it makes me feel like I'm about to go and like haunt somebody in a massive castle in the middle of the night. Not feeling it. I feel like my gran would have worn something like this in the 40s and like not in a cute way. I don't like how it fits on me. I feel like it makes me look bigger than what I am and doesn't like hug my curves properly. Don't even like the sleeves. <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> So this is the item that I sized up on. This is a 3X and it's a t-shirt dress. I thought the design was really funky with it and I thought with a denim jacket this would look really, really funky. For only £8.99 as well, you can't go wrong. And I'm wondering as well, looking at this now and the style, I'm wondering whether you'd be able to wear these with like a pair of boots with your hair curled and some nice jewellery and be able to wear this on a night out. I think that would look really funky. I can't wait to try this one on. So I do love this one. It does feel like I'm wearing a nightie, but I think with like a leather jacket or a denim jacket over it with some boots, it would look really cute. I love how oversized it is. It's just below the knee, so it's long enough. And also for like the summer, it's really airy and comfortable. So yeah, this is one of my favourites. I also love the graphic design so much. I haven't seen anything like this. And I just think it's really funky. One of my favourites from this haul already, and I haven't tried it on yet, but I just know, is this pyjama set. So this was only £8.49 and it even comes with this eye sleep mask with it as well. How cute is that? Now we've got to the good stuff, the PJs. And I swear I love these so much. They're so comfortable. I love this eye mask that goes with it. I think it's just the cutest thing ever. Um, the length of the trousers, I know you can't see that. I'm five foot eight to five foot nine and they sit perfectly on my feet. So they're not too long. And it's a perfect length t-shirt wise and perfect fit as well. Not too oversized, not too clingy. Love it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> And then last but not least, we've got this satin pyjama set. So this comes with the trousers, the dressing gown and the cute little top. And this was only £22.99. I know that's more pricey than what I've paid for the other things before. A really cute satin set. I'm not arguing with it. It's so pretty. Unfortunately, though, looking at the top, I don't think I'm going to get the girls in, but we're going to try. <laughs> Okay, so I can't with how stunning this is. It feels really expensive. It sits perfectly on me and it's not too tight, not too loose, like fits like a dream. Loving the kimono on top, that's it without. Um, so as a set, it just feels really like luxurious. I can imagine lounging around like on a Sunday all day in this. I also think that this is like breaking the barrier between like sexy and cute, if that makes sense. So like you're not going full on sexy, but at the same time, you're not going to bed in the pajamas you just saw me in. So yeah, all in all, I love this. I think this is actually, now I've tried all of it on, my favourite thing from the whole haul. It's also the most expensive, but I don't care. If I could wear this all day, every day, I think I would. <laughs> Watching these hauls, especially plus size hauls, is one of my favourite things to do on YouTube. So even though this one was a bit bumpy because it's the first one that I've done, I really enjoy doing it. Let me know if you want to see more shopping hauls from me and where you'd like me to buy the clothes from as well. I will say that you get what you pay for. It's very much 50-50 with the clothes, but for the ones that I did like, it's definitely worth it. I love the pyjama pieces. I love the navy one. I just need to bring it in a bit. And yeah, I think I'll definitely buy off them again. It's been emotional. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. No matter where we go, our memories won't fade away.